Come on. That's me dog. Um, I know this audio is gonna suck. Okay, so we all know it. Shrek is pretty awesome. He's like he's a giant oh large. He's pretty big. Just an ogre that lives in a swamp and fell in love with a hot girl, but then turned her into a hot ogre girl. And he goes on cool adventures and stuff and talks in an Irish accent and his best friend is a freaking donkey. So <clears throat> that's pretty cool. And I was going to draw Shrek as like a super handsome dude. I don't know why. But then I accidentally used a blue marker. You can't see it because I don't have a recording of that because it's stupid. But he's blue and that was a mistake. But honestly, is it really a mistake? I think there's a reason for that to have happened. I didn't just accidentally grab that blue marker. He's blue for a reason, and I'm gonna try to discover that reason because I think that's might be that's might be that might be like the the future of Shrek, you know, like you know, like Fiona. Fiona, she was on a freaking tower for like forever. Didn't have no life, no social life, no hobbies, no things. I don't understand how she is not the most like socially awkward person ever, but she has like. A personality and stuff i don't know that doesn't make sense to me or whatever i feel like she should be like a mole person as um a human or ogre or whatever but anyways she like realizes like what the hell am i doing i just married a freaking stinky ogre and then she like leaves him with the kids or no she takes the kids she leaves leaves the kids with the grandparents and she goes on to have like a party life and like she gets a life that she never had because she was stuck in a freaking tower her whole life. And she's really trying to just get back what the universe took away from her. So she leaves her gross um, Shrek husband, which we all love. But then Shrek is left destroyed. He's like about to kill himself or something. He's just like so sad. He doesn't know what to do with his life. Like the freaking hot love of my life left. What am I going to do? So... He, like, he starts drinking, and he realizes that it's not the path he wants to go down, and he gets help from his donkey friend and his other cat friend, and, I don't know, wait, 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 before that, because Fiona now realizes that she doesn't, like, love him and wants to do her own thing, she's like, no, I'm not gonna bang you anymore, so then he gets blue balls, <clears throat> Sorry, I have like something stuck in my throat. He gets blue balls. And because he's so loyal, he has such a good heart, he doesn't have sex with anyone except his Fiona, which is his true love. So then his blue balls get so intense that like they just spread throughout his whole body. And he just, he's completely blue. So that's why he's blue. That's exactly the reason. So then that goes into the rest of his story that he tries to go on like a self improvement journey. And. He, like, finds some old tapes from... Whoa, what the heck? He finds some old tapes from, like, the, the 80s, like, face muscle exercises. Like, those, like, ladies who, like, you know, the one you've seen, them, they're like, oh, uh, and they, like, look like puffer fish, but they're, like, exercising, exercising their face or something. So, he does that. He goes on a few diets, and, like, honestly, his lifestyle is really working for him. He loses, like, 30... 50 200 500 pounds or something he like gets a jawline a nose job like some lip injections like he gets a new he gets a stylist changes his wardrobe fixes up his little swamp he like turns it into like an organic botanical um genetically modified like botany place and he's super happy and he he finds like peace with himself and in his existence beyond the need for sex and he's just like this being who is so like perfect and he's just so cool and Fiona eventually realizes what the hell am I doing with my life this freaking Shrek dude is awesome and then she tries to come back but he's like no 